So you open Google Analytics for reports and you see this or this or this. Why is there not set in those reports? Well, there are many reasons and I will explain them in this video. Not set in Google Analytics 4 means that a dimension did not have value for a particular event. For example, here we have a bunch of different events, but none of them are form submission events. And here I have added a secondary dimension, which is form ID. This dimension is directly related to form submissions. So when we have an event called audio complete, I did not send any form ID with this event because the event and form ID are unrelated. Since there is no value, we see not set. However, there are still some situations in Google Analytics 4 where you would expect a dimension to have a value, but unfortunately you see not set. First of all, keep in mind that Google Analytics requires at least 24, sometimes 48 hours to process the data. So if you started sending something very recently, for example, a particular dimension, try to wait for at least 48 hours before you dig into this not set issue because there is a chance that after 48 hours, the dimension will start showing some data. Oh, and one more thing is that this whole not set situation is constantly developing. There might be new issues when this appears, or there might be some situations where hopefully Google fixes some problems that will reduce the number of not set. If you want to stay updated and maybe you want to learn some additional things, then take a look at the description of this video where I have a blog post about this topic you might learn some additional details here. One of the most common places where you might see not set is the landing page report. How can you have sessions where landing page is just not available? Well, in Google Analytics 4, landing page dimension is taken from the page view event. And if the session does not have any page views, just like you see right here, we have zero page views, this means that those sessions will not have a landing page. Here's a scenario how a session can have zero page views. Let's say that a visitor lands on your website, keeps the browser window open with your site, and then goes to do something else. That window stays open for more than 30 minutes, and by default, this means that the user session will time out, or in other words, end. But remember, the browser tab with your site is still open. Then the user comes back to that tab. Remember, there was no page view, there was no page load. And then when the visitor comes back to your site, maybe the visitor scrolls down, maybe click something, maybe a user engagement event fires. But remember, no page view is fired in this case. So what does it mean? It means that a new session will start, but that session will have zero page views. Unless of course the visitor in that new session then goes to another page or reloads the page. But if the visitor does not do that, you have zero page views in the session and some other events. They start a new session, therefore you still have some sessions tracked but they have zero page views. In the end, the result is that you get the landing page not set. There is no solid solution for this to completely get rid of not set landing page, but there is an option to reduce the impact of this issue. And that would be to increase the default session duration because by default, it is 30 minutes in Google Analytics, but you can set it to a maximum of almost eight hours. And that's what I would recommend to do. Set it at least to four, five, maybe even almost eight hours. You can do that by going to admin, then data streams, select your website data stream, then scroll down and select configure tax settings. Here you should click show all and then adjust session timeout. And here you should set to some longer time period. The maximum is seven hours and 55 minutes. So this means that fewer sessions will time out before the user comes back to your browser window but it does not mean that you will completely eradicate this problem. Some sessions will eventually time out even after four or eight hours. So when you change your default session timeout, then you click save and that's it. Then another fairly popular situation is that maybe you're looking at your data and session source medium is not set. There are several possible reasons why you have this. The first one, and it's fairly popular, is that maybe you're using a thing called measurement protocol, which allows your developers from your server to send data directly to Google Analytics. However, it's very important to understand that measurement protocol is used to enrich the sessions that are already happening on your site. So if your developers are sending data from measurement protocol, all their events must include the existing client ID of the actual visitor that is browsing your site 
and then also they must send a parameter called session ID. And that ID must be of a real session that is happening or was happening on your site. To learn more about how to use measurement protocol properly, I have created another tutorial and I will post a link to it below the video. So watch that. And if your project is using measurement protocol, this is very likely that it is causing your not set problems and not necessarily just traffic source related problems. Other dimensions might also be suffering the not set issues. Another reason for the session source being not set is the missing session start event. Session start event is the default one. It is automatically tracked by Google Analytics 4 every time a new session starts. However, for some reason, some sessions just don't have that event. For example, here, I have a user, I have one session, but there is no session start event here. Therefore, this session would be displayed as not set in my traffic acquisition reports. Unfortunately, I don't have a solution for this problem. It just happens. And it looks more like a Google Analytics 4 bug. So hopefully Google at some point will fix this issue. But right now, we just have to kind of live with this issue, at least for now. Then another thing that might cause the not set session source medium is audience triggers. In Google Analytics, you can create audiences. For example, you can go to admin audiences and let's, for example, create a new audience. So, and here I will just enter the condition. So let's say that this audience should include all people who have, let's say, clicked the contact link click button for some reason. So in this case, what I can configure GE4 to do is that if anyone enters this audience, I can create a new event. And that event could be something like entered contact link audience or something like that. So whenever a visitor enters this audience, this event will be automatically dispatched. However, what I've noticed is that sometimes, and this especially applies to predictive audiences, is that this event for some reason just loses traffic source data. And if you are relying a lot on audience triggers, unfortunately, a lot of them will have the not set source medium. And there is no solution for that, except of course, not using audience triggers, even though this feature is quite promising, but this not set problem is quite irritating. Then another issue might be invalid UTM parameters, or maybe some parameters are missing. For example, if your UTM parameters in the URL contain, let's say UTM campaign equals test, but you don't include UTM source and UTM medium, those two dimensions will be not set because you're not sending that data. So I would highly recommend to review all your UTM parameters and make sure that they are valid and they're following best practices. If you have no idea what UTM parameters are and you want to learn more about them, then I will post a link to the description of this video. In fact, the same thing might apply to session campaign dimension, for example. If you're using in your marketing links UTM source and UTM medium, but you don't use the UTM campaign, then it means that the dimension, which is called session campaign or just campaign or first user campaign, those dimensions will have not set values. If you're using Google Ads and you see not set in reports related to that, for example, Google Ads campaign is not set, then make sure that you have properly linked your Google Ads account with your Google Analytics for property. You can do that by going to admin and then go to Google Ads links and follow the instructions to connect these tools. If on the other hand, you have Google Ads linked with Google Analytics, then make sure that you use auto tagging in Google Ads. I will post a link to this page, which is a documentation. So read it and make sure that you have enabled auto tagging in Google Ads. Otherwise, you might get those not set issues. If you are seeing page location not set, there are usually two reasons. One of them is that maybe your page location is very long. And I mean, it's longer than 420 or 500 characters. In that case, page location might be lost and remain as not set. Also, another possible reason is the aforementioned measurement protocol. If you want to have page location with events that are sent with measurement protocol, your developer must send the value of the page location. And if you're facing the not set issue with the page title dimension, measurement protocol again might be an issue, or 
maybe that page does not have the title element in the HTML of the code. So consult with the developer of the site. Maybe the title is just forgotten and should be added by them. Then in Google Analytics 4 reports, there is a default dimension that you might find and it's called content group. But if you click it, it's very likely that you will see not set. That is happening because Google Analytics cannot track it automatically. If you want to have this data, you need to send it. For example, in Google Tag Manager, if you have installed GA4 with it, you would need to go to fields to set and then enter content group exactly like this and then enter some variable that returns this value. If you have no idea what content group is, then check the description of this video. I will post a link to another tutorial about that where you can learn more about content groups. But in general, keep in mind that content group is not automatically tracked. You need to send it. And if you are sending data with measurement protocol, again, you need to send content group with it as well if you want to see that data. Another fairly popular situation of not set might appear in your monetization or also known as e-commerce reports. For example, here I have a report where this product, and I mean its ID is not set. This might happen because you or your developers are not sending the item ID together with the purchase data because this item was purchased this time, but it's not set. So you need to check your setup and make sure that item ID is sent as well. Because it looks like in this property, the product data was sent, probably product name was sent, but product ID was not. Because if I switch, for example, to item name, we will see that the product that was purchased for $36, like the one that was here, we were sending the item name. So item name was sent, item ID was not sent. As a result, in the item ID report, we will get not set. Personally, I recommend sending both item ID and item name when you're tracking products and e-commerce purchases. And in your situation, you might be facing even other not set issues. For example, maybe your language is not set or maybe your country is not set or maybe something else. So if you want to learn even more details, then take a look at my blog post about how to fix the not set issue in Google Analytics 4. I will post a link to it below the video. And these were the possible reasons why you have not set in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.